students how you all doing i hope you are doing well today i am going to explain you literary devices in poem this is a new topic for you but okay uh, you will enjoy so shall i start literary devices are some special kinds of things that the poet does in his poem okay like we use rhyme rhythm and he uses such words which create different effect so let's move on to the poem then you will understand actually what is literary device clear so let's move on to the poem as as uh, we have completed this poem the road not taken which is written by robert frost right so i'm going through the poem then i'll explain you the poetic device clear are you ready i hope you are ready and uh, let's wait a minute children okay right so here children two road dwellers in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the underground undergrowth not underground okay children so here in this poem this is actually uh, as i explain you road about road and when i when i was explaining you at the time told you the road not taken the road symbolize man's life so here the poetic device uh, which is used by the poet is uh, symbolism symbolism is the main base of the poem entire poem okay road is a symbol which represent the two or more choices in our life okay so here the poet uh, which uh, poet used what used what he used here the poetic device used by the poet is symbolism so let's see what is symbolism symbolism is an idea of using a symbol of symbol to represent a meaning idea or quality okay the symbol that are given do not have the same literal meaning as the thing about which they are referring clear children because here if i am saying to you road road that means road that road is not that uh, where you just ride your vehicle no not at all this road is as i told you this road symbolize man's life okay we are talking about the choices through this road okay i hope you understood so the poetic device uh, used by the poet in this poem is symbolism right and another poetic device used by the poet is let's see anaphora anaphora what does it mean anaphora do you know anaphora i have written the definition for you so that it will be easy for you clear the repeated use of a word at the start of two or more consecutive lines i know you, you are saying to me madam what is this what is this we don't know what you are teaching us so anaphora children again i am repeating the repeated use of a word at the start of two or more consecutive line let's move on to the poem let's move on to the poem so here so here what is anaphora the repeated use of a word let's find out repeated use of a word can you find out repeated use of a word yes here it is and 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 so anaphora meaning is the repeated use of a word at the start of two or more consecutive lines two or more consecutive lines that means and use in two or more consecutive lines and that is called anaphora what anaphora clear what is anaphora anaphora is the repeated use of a word at the start of two or more consecutive line at the start of two or more consecutive line so i hope you understood anaphora now let's talk about the rhyming scheme okay rhyming scheme is also a new word for you no problem life is full of challenges children and we have to face challenge so here let's come let's move on to the poem wood wood is given over here wood 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 is rhyming with stood could 
okay and both is rhyming to under growth so we can do like this we can write like this a b then a a and b clear understood so here the rhyming scheme is a b a a b understood are you getting me so here the rhyming scheme is a b a a b a b a a b that means would would is rhyming with stood could and both is rhyming with under growth i hope you understood so i explained you a poetic devices used by the poet in first stanza the road not taken your poem's name is the road not taken and i explained the poetic devices used in this stanza this is the first stanza clear now students let's move on to the second stanza so i'm going through the poem okay then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same so here we have to find out the poetic devices so let me here in this poem the literary devices used by the poet is alliteration what alliteration what does it mean alliteration alliteration given over here i have written definition for you so that it will be very easy for you to understand clear alliteration is the repetition of a consonant sound at the start of two or more consecutive words repetition of a consonant sound what i told you children repetition of consonant sound is the alliteration clear so here what is consonant tell me what is consonant consonant you just leave vowel vowel you have to leave a e i o u and rest of the letter will be consonant so children here let me find out what is the definition what is the definition alliteration is the repetition of a consonant sound at the start of two or more conse consecutive words at the start of two or more consecutive words let's see let's find out i got it children w and w okay this is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of a consonant sound at the start of at the start of two or more consecutive words two or more consecutive words so start up so the first word is w and w consonant now children second one let's see one more is here do that the here the sound is prominent here you can see the sound is prominent in this line clear so this is also alliteration this is also alliteration here w and w and do that the the sound is prominent so what is the definition of alliteration children alliteration is the repetition of a consonant sound at the start of two or more consecutive words i hope you understood okay now children we have to find out your rhyming scheme so here you can see fair 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 is rhyming with uh, wear and there clear and claim is rhyming with same so a b a a b so the rhyming scheme of this stanza is a then b then a a b i hope you understood now let's move on to the next stanza children okay okay so let's move on to the poem here and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how we leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back 
सो हियर द पोइटिक डिवाइज यूज बाय द पोइट इज एलिट्रेशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एलिट्रेशन आई टोल्ड यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एलिट्रेशन एलिट्रेशन इज द रिपिटेशन ऑफ अ कंसोनेंट साउंड एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ टू और मोर कंजिव वर्ड्स सो कैन यू फाइंड आउट हियर चिल्ड्रन कैन यू फाइंड आउट इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू फाइंड आउट कैन यू फाइंड आउट वेर इट इज वेर इट इज वेर इट इज एलिट्रेशन इज द रिपिटेशन ऑफ कंसोनेंट साउंड फर्स्ट एंड फॉर यस गॉट इट फर्स्ट एंड फॉर एफ एफ साउंड इज प्रोमिनेंट ओवर हियर गॉट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट वेरी गुड एलिट्रेशन क्लियर सो नाउ हियर ओनली वन पोइटिक डिवाइज डिवाइज यूज बाय द पोइट एलिट्रेशन नाउ हियर लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द रैमिंग स्कीम ले ले इज रैमिंग विथ डे एंड वे एंड ब्लैक इज रैमिंग विथ बैक so what is the rhyming scheme over here a b a a b i hope you understood now let's move on to the next stanza here children what is this okay let me i'll explain in my next video this one clear friends let's move on to the last stanza and here i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hands two road dwarfs in a yellow wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the differences so here the poet use uh, the poetic device used by the poet is let me see which poetic device used by the poet in this poem it is repetition what is repetition do you know repeat um, repetition is the repeated use of a word of line to lay emphasis to lay emphasis so here we can say that here one word is there ages and ages is the repeated use of word clear so here the poet uh, here you can see age word is repeating you can see age word is repeating because he wants to tell after many years just because he poet wants to tell after many years so this word is repeating in this poem ages and ages clear now let's talk about uh, rhyming scheme here rhyming scheme sai is uh, rhyming with i and by and hence is rhyming with difference so a b a a b understood so rhyming scheme over here a b a a b so now in all four stanza there is the same rhyming scheme okay entire poem it has same rhyme, rhyming scheme that is a b a a b i hope you understood children the poetic devices as uh, i'll explain the next poem i'll explain you some more poetic devices clear okay till then bye students